Hey, I wanted to show you what happens to polycarbonate over time. Now this particular build behind me, this was built about 45 years ago. So this is some seriously old polycarbonate. And you can see how it's yellowed over time. Two things happen after about 10 years. You see an acceleration of yellowing on polycarbonate. That's due for one primary reason. The polycarbonate for agricultural purposes comes with a 50 micron UV resistant layer. And after about 10 years, it kind of breaks down. So picture it like a sacrificial anode on an outboard motor. It's the same principle. The UV rays interact with that layer and over time it erodes and then it leaves your plastic unprotected. So let me give you a feel of what this particular greenhouse is like after 45 years. So it's it's still intact, it's not like it's non-functional, and it still gives you a good R value. But what'll happen is in a windstorm, what you'll see potentially after this, now this just happened not too long ago, this is within the last year, where you saw some serious wind, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour, and it just vibrated the surface of that material, started stress cracks, and then took the polycarbonate out. But if you feel the polycarbonate, I mean, it's still pretty solid. It's resilient. It's plasticized. It's not like it's totally embrittled. So that's effectively what happens over time. And that's why almost industry standard, you're going to see a 10-year warranty on polycarbonate against significant yellowing and cracking. But the reality is you're going to get 30 years out of it. I mean, it's not something that you need to replace every 10 years. A lot of people do. Don't get me wrong, but I think they're seriously in the minority. From, you know, Beaverton, Oregon has a nice uh, polycarbonate greenhouse. You know, the panel's been up there 30, 35 years. And I use that as an example because it's a fairly overcast area. And yet you have yellowing there. Here in the Intermountain West, this is in Idaho. It's pretty bright and sunny at a mile high elevation. A lot more solar intensity here, but it still hold up fairly well, even in this case for nearly 45 years. So um, the new technology is better. You should be able to get better performance out of it. But just keep in mind, this is the principle behind it. Uh, that you have that UV resistant layer it erodes over time after 10 years it doesn't protect as well so keep that in mind when you're uh, calculating what you want to do with polycarbonate thanks for watching and have a great day